And welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play This War of Mine. When last we left off, um, yeah, my plan to survive is not so good. Since I thought it was, we only had a few short days left. Um, not so much apparently. Do I have enough water? Do I have enough to make water? Go check the radio. Ah, I do have a filter. I, we must be coming up on the end game, I would assume. But I have no idea. My today should be warm and and pleasant. So you haven't slept in a while. Go sleep. Thank goodness we get those vegetables though. Hopefully a trader will come and I can trade away some uh some supplies for some canned food. Because we're definitely gonna need it. Aha, speaking of a trader. Yes, hello. What do you got? No vegetables, though, that's fine. Um, we need at least one of that. And three of those, let's see. Do you want snow? No, you don't want snow. Nope. 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 Hmm. I'm not going to trade my gun, but I will trade all the weapon parts. Doesn't like that. Doesn't want my water either, even though I need the water. Does not want the books. Very common stuff. But he won't trade a lot of food for it. What the hell? Your guns are usually lying around, guy. Oh, come on. I don't trade anything good away. Good enough. Jerk. Yeah, go away. Alright, so four meals. Very tired. Very, uh, very tired. Are you very hungry? No, you're hungry. You're very hungry. You are gonna eat that canned food. You're tired, so you should go sleep. Not very tasty, but it's filling. Well, that's good. I'll wait till the water's done, and then I'll end the day. What a horrible night to have a curse of war. We gotta be getting close. Gotta be. Thank you, phone. Alright. How rested up are you guys? Very tired, very tired. Uh, end the day. Everyone guard. Day 44, come on. Been raided. Didn't see anything, and she's slightly wounded. Nice. Nice. How much longer? 
Next few days will be pleasant. Oop. We are led to believe that international peacekeepers are going to be putting an end to the civil war in Geneva in the next couple of days. Nice. We have a confirmation that the peacekeeping forces are indeed en route to Penaporogna. We should expect ceasefire any day. Nice. So we are close. Okay. Let's make a meal. Any day now. We just need to survive. Okay, you eat. You get some rest. And you eat. Now we have three water left, right? Yes, we do. I should be able to repel minor attacks if we are even caught sleeping. Nice. Alright, so we're doing well now. We have enough food and water to make one more, me two more meals. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll uh, we'll get a trader, and we can buy some more food. I guess trade for more food is more accurate. Uh, we have no weapon parts left, so we really can't uh, build any more weapons. And build a filter. Guitar. Radio. Why would you build more than one? Uh, no, another bed would be nice, actually. So that everyone can sleep all at once during the day. This sounds like a plan. If we really need to, we can break down the beds anyways. If we're really that hard for supplies, which we're not. Bruno! Bruno's been a lifesaver. Dairy. Hotel's open. There's shelter, almost like home, giving us relief. Helping us regain composure. We have beds and we sleep in a decent condition. If someone gets sick or wounded, da da da. This isn't but a guitar, I think, actually, if I was. Good that we have a guitar. Um, do we have a guitar? No, oh, I thought I sold it. Or something. Everyone's resting. Magical traders or anything? You're still wounded. Let's end the day. Uh, you sleep. You guard. You guard. Guard, guard, sleep. <gasps> Curve on crime. Day 45. Nice. The night was calm. Apart from the echoes of... You know, okay, we still hear gunfire. We were slightly slick and slightly wounded. That's not good. Any more updates on the radio? Good to believe. Excuse me, nice. Uh, Bruno. You make us some food. She needs to eat. You go get some sleep. I don't know if you can save cooked food. I can't remember. I think you can. We're not going to, though. Actually, no. You, you, you double eat, actually. 
Whoa, minus five. Minus five, really? How's it even possible? That's a weird. Minus five. How the hell did that happen? It's supposed to be warm. Uh oh, jerks. I need help. You need help, eh? I remember you. Okay, what do you need? Hello again. Hello. It's us again. The military um, intensified shelling in the area, and we decided we need to reinforce our. Improv shelter in the cellar. We've got the necessary materials, but we could use an extra pair of hands. Maybe you could help us? Um. You're still quite ill. Well, we're not going to need a cook for the moment, I guess. Uh, yeah. We should help each other, especially in times like these. Um, I'm really glad we decided to help our neighbors. I'm sick. Um, our neighbors were kind to us. I'm glad we decided to help them. You're content. That's nice. Why is it only plus 14? That bothers me. Right, let's uh let's end the day. <gasps> yes! The war is over. You've survived. And that's it everyone. That's the end of this war of mine. Um interesting game. Saved lives. Our neighbor's children asked for medication for her and we shared a little we shared the little we had with them. Marco helped a man who was wounded by a sniper while coming home to his sick child. Katie was looking for shelter and we let her stay with us. All the decisions we made, not I guess all the major events. Um, our neighbors felt unsafe and asked us to help her board our windows and we did. The children we had helped earlier came to ask us for some food we shared with them. Um, a frightened neighbor asked us to protect her against bandits. Pavlov agreed to help. Marco died. Marco was killed while looking for supplies. When one of our neighbors asked for help, uh, to help him rob a rich family, we refused. Our friendly neighbors came to ask us to help in reinforcing their shelter, and we were happy to help them. And ceasefire. The long-awaited ceasefire finally came into into force, eventually putting an end to the fighting in um, Poragon. Those who managed to survive the war in Gaza will ne would never forget it. Paul survived the war. After months of searching, disper uh, despite rumor, uh, numerous difficulties, he managed to find his wife and son, who had sought refuge in France. Uh, he went there to live with them. Uh, they never came back to Prague. Um... Katie used her contacts to find her pa uh, parents in a, a refugee camp abroad. She brought them back to the city and helped rebuild their house. Soon after that, she published her war diary, which became a bestseller and drew widespread attention to the fate of the civilian, uh, civ uh, civilians during war. After the ceasefire, Bruno set off looking for his friend. Um, her neighborhood saw heavy fighting and the majority of the hou uh, housing had been reduced to ruins, but she, but she found shelter in the basement were which somehow held despite the hardship she managed to survive and was happy to see Bruno alive again uh, alive as well they remain friends to this day for all his efforts Marco was rewarded with a shallow grave maybe his wife and daughter will find it someday 
Um, on condition that they manage to survive, on condition that they manage to survive the pursuing uh, the persecution themselves. And that's it, everyone. That's this war of mine. Um, I hope you enjoyed this let's play. Um, I know I did. Um, epilogue. I'll click that in a second. Um, I know I did. Um, it was pretty good. Um, tedious at times, but pretty good. Epilogue. Was epilogue beginning or end? Pretty sure it's end. Because prologue's before. And it crashed.